गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू थिंक आई चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंपेटिव एथनोग्राफी इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन टू एथनोग्राफी एंड अवर चैप्टर इज एथिक्स इन राइटिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द केस स्टडी फर्स्ट केस स्टडी मित्रा वॉल्टन कंडक्टेड फील्ड वर्क फॉर टू ईयर्स इन द रूरल विलेज ऑफ मेलेनेशिया विद अ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ अबाउट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड पीपल आउटकम केम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ मोनोग्राफ फोकसिंग ऑन स्पेसिफिक इंस्टांसिस ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड डिस्प्यूट सेटलमेंट इन अ वराइटी ऑफ कॉन्टेक्सट फॉलोइंग द कन्वेंशंस ऑफ द ट्रिपल ए वॉल्टन डिसाइडेड दैट द विलेज एंड इट्स लोकेशन शुड बी डिस्गुज एंड दैट सीडोडाइनिम्स शुड बी यूज फॉर ऑल इंडिविजुअल मैंशन in the published ethnography three years later she returned to the community of study taking along copies of the book she asked and received permissions to conduct further study in the village six months later a meeting was called by one of the elders in order that the community members might discuss the book about them with walton Walton was surprised by the remarks concerning the book namely that the name of the village is given wrong name of the individual are not accurate furthermore she was explicitly told that in the next book she should be more careful to use the correct village name and use the correct names of the villagers walton's quandary revolves around two issues firstly whether she should go with the villagers instance that she would publish the correct name of the village and villagers or she should rely on anthropological conventions and cautions and should use the pseudonyms reference source handbook on ethical issues in anthropology special edition of the american anthropological association number 23 edited by john castle and sui allen jacob 1980 case study 2 mary jones worked as an applied medical anthropologist in an urban black community in the us for 3 years her publications included sensitivity materials concerning specific epidemiological problems faced by members of the community as well as strategies and tactics used to improve healthcare delivery by the local community before submitting her articles for publication jones asked specific members of the community if they would read the papers of papers for comments and criticism individuals from the community health center who had been part of the applied project did so and set up a meeting for discussion of the contents of the manuscript in the discussion she was asked she was asked for not using the accurate name of the town community health centers and people of the centers as well as community jones countered with explanation regarding anthropological conventions which specified the use of pseudonyms in certain types of anthropological reporting the participants instead of, instead her at least if not the name of the health center using correct name of the some of the people who had helped her these arguments put jones in ethical dilemma regarding whether she should defer to the community health center members desire that she publish the name of the health center the town in which the health center was located and or the names of the individuals who had asked or given permissions for their names to be published during the meeting described above or she should retain the use of pseudonyms throughout a papers reference source handbook on ethical issues in anthropology is special edition of the american anthropological association number 23 edited by john castle and shu allen jacobs 